students good morning everyone now we are going to talk about unit 24 environmental science what is the environmental science environmental science is an applied science environmental is an applied science it's an applied science using pure science to solve problems important point environmental science is an applied science but using pure science to solve problems as foundation in ecology the study of how living things interact with the environment listen the study of how live study of how living things interact with the environment Eco ecology does not include the influence of humans on the environment second point uh, environmental science also uses principles of other pure science for example using chemistry ecology and biology to clean up a lake next point study to main interaction of humans and their environment to main interactions of humans and their environment first point the use of natural resources first point the use of natural resources second point how human actions alters the environment how human action alters the environment introduction the term bio biogeochemical tells are the biological geological and chemical factors are involved the term biological is the term biological tells sorry the terms biological tells as the biological geological and chemical factors are involved the year in earth science a bio in biogeochemical cycle in the earth science a biogeochemical cycle is a pathway by which a chemical substance moves through both biotech and abiotech atmosphere and uh, compartments of earth Listen, biotech means biosphere, a, a biotech means lithosphere, and atmosphere and hydrosphere, <coughs> compartments of earth. A cycle is a series of a change which, come, which comes back to the starting point and which can be repeated. What are biogeochemical cycles? Only four parts, atmosphere, hydrosphere, lithosphere, and biosphere. This is hydrosphere, this is lithosphere, this is uh, lithosphere and sorry, this lithosphere, this is hydrosphere, this is geosphere and this is biosphere and atmosphere. The biological cycles, the chemical interactions that exist between the atmosphere, hydrosphere, lithosphere and the biosphere. A biotech, a biotech and a biotech process drive these cycles. Focus on carbon, nitrogen, water cycles, but it but good to include all necessary elements for life. First one, water cycle. Water is always on the move. Water is always on the move. Rain falling where you live may have been water in the ozone just days before. Water is always on the move. Rain falling where you live may have been water in the ocean just days before. And the water you see in a river, listen, first find water is always on the move. Rain, this is rain falling where you live may have been water in the ocean, ocean just days before. And the water seen in a river or stream or stream. May have a snow on a high mountain top. High mountain top. The water cycle is also known as the hydrologic cycle. Hydrologic cycle. Hydro is a Latin word for water. So carbon cycle. First one, carbon is found graphite, diamond in nature. Graphite and diamond in nature. It also occurs as carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is dangerous oxide. As 0.03 percent in the atmosphere. An atom of carbon can form covalent bonds. An atom of carbon can form covalent bonds. Covalent bonds means 
mutual sharing of electrons problem what means mutual sharing of electrons this is carbon carbon atomic number 6 valency 4 therefore uh, one plus two point this is mutual sharing of electrons Golden bond means mutual sharing of electrons and at an atom of carbon can form golden bonds with hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus and other carbon atoms. It can form four such bonds at any one time and because of this vessel T. And the carbon atom is the principal building block of many kinds of molecules which make up living, or living organisms. Hence, the carbon cycle is essential for the assistance and survival of life. Carbon is a basic constant of all organic compounds and is involved in the fixation of energy by photosynthesis. Carbon is a basic constant of all organic compounds and is involved in the fixation of energy by photosynthesis. The source of all carbon in both living organisms and fossil deposits is CO2. CO2 means carbon dioxide. In the atmosphere and the waters of the earth. Steps of carbon cycle. Carbon moves from atmosphere to plants. Second point, carbon moves from plants to animals. Carbon moves from plants and animals to the ground. First point, carbon moves from atmosphere to plants. Second point, carbon moves from plants to animals. And third one, carbon moves from plants to animals to the ground. Carbon moves from living thing to the atmosphere. Carbon moves from fossil fuels to the atmosphere. Carbon moves from atmosphere to the oceans. Next one, nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen cycle is the process by which nitrogen is converted between its various chemical forms. Listen, converted between its various chemical forms. The transformation can be carried out through both biological and physical process. Steps in nitrogen cycle. Five steps. First step, nitrogen fixation. Nitrogen must be fixed in order to be used by plants. Its atmosphere form. Acetope factor. Second one, ammonification. Ammonia, NH3 is called ammonia, nitrogen is one of the major compounds, therefore ammonia is made by decomposing bacteria. Next, nitrification. For those plants who refuse, refuse to settle with ammonia, they undergo nitrification. Bacteria convert most of the ammonia in soil to nitrite ions, nitrite ions, NO3 minus. Next, assimilation. This is when plants Absorb the substance dropped off by nitrogen fixation and nitrification. Next, denitrification, denitri sorry, denitrification. If the nitrite ions NO3 minus choose not to assimilate, the, they leave the soil and are converted by specialized anaerobic bacteria. In water lodged soil forms lakes. Why are bats important? Why are bats important? Bats are I bats are I am potent pollinators of, of many sorry bats are important pollinators of many plant species including the including the ego plants the saglorious cactus and many rainforest plant species bats are vital for the control of insect populations Global warming. So global warming is a very important one of the world. Global warming is the increase of yes average surface temperatures due to effect of greenhouse gas. Greenhouse gas, chlorofluorocarbon and uh, such as carbon dioxide emissions from burning fossil fuels are form deforestations which drop heat that would otherwise escape from earth. This is, uh, this is a type of greenhouse effect. Dear students, watch this video two or three times so that you can understand the concept well. Today's homework is science.
first question is explain water cycle and explain adaptation of global warming this two questions for you so you have think and answers and study and write three times in your home test notes and send in my personal whatsapp number thank you students god bless you